You're watching Sports Force Extra on KTIV. Welcome back, folks, to the week six edition of Sports Force Extra. I'm Jason Moeller, and as always, I have the privilege of going through some of the best highlights that you, Sue Land, had to offer. And I'll tell you what, this week, it's a big focus. Let me speed up here to catch up to my camera. It's a big focus here on rivalries this week, and everyone has their rivals. But we begin with a pretty big one just down the road in Moville, where the ninth-ranked Woodbury Central Wildcats and the Kingsley Pearson River Valley Panthers, they're battling for the Little Brown Jug. Now... Panthers trying to bring the jug back to Kingsley for the first time since 2005. We'll pick things up in the first quarter here. Jackson score takes the snap. He'll fire to the opposite corner where Sam Monk climbs the ladder for this catch, and that'll make it 7 0. Stay in the first quarter of this one here. Wildcats near Pater. They give to Zach Butler, and the senior will bulldoze his way in to make it 13 0. Panthers. Looking to get back in it. Landon Howe takes the snap. He's going to have to sprint out to his right. He's looking downfield. He'll find Kevin Wright down the sideline. Wright heads up. They're going to rule him just short of the end zone. It's fourth and goal now. Howe once again takes the snap. Immediately takes off to his right. Looking in the end zone. No one's there. He'll take it himself. And Howe finds Pater. That makes it 13 to 7. Wildcats looking to respond. Verscore takes the snap, heaves one deep, but it's Kevin Wright stepping in front. He'll pick this thing off, and the seniors got plenty of green grass in front of him. He'll go on a nice return before finally being brought down just a couple of plays later. How takes his own shot downfield. He'll connect with who else but Kevin Wright on that deep ball, and the Panthers take a 14-13 lead, but their score says, hey, brother, anything you can do, I can do. The sophomore launches one right into the breadbasket of Jaden Lloyd and the sophomore connection. That'll turn six points as Woodbury Central picks up the win in the Little Brown Jug, 48-22. Over in Sergeant Bluff Luton, the running Warriors hosting the Dutch of MOC Floyd Valley. Less than a minute to go in the half is where we start. Xavion Ellington gets the handoff, follows his blocks up the middle and plunges in for the score. SBL leads 24-7 at the break. Warriors first drive of the second half. Same play, same player, same result. Ellington's in for six more. That'll make it a 24-point lead for SBL Dutch. Working to just stay in this one here. Blake Albers looking to throw. He'll find his favorite target. I'm on Langton. Langton skirts past the defender there. He'll finally be brought down at about the 30-yard line. But just a couple of plays later, Albers once again finds Langton. This time on the slant route, he cuts back to the far side. And I'm on Langton. will find Pater for the score. But the Warriors come away with the win as they celebrate homecoming with a 45-21 victory. Sioux City West hosting Lamars at Elwood Olsen Stadium on senior night. Opening drive for the Bulldogs. Jamie Sitzman hits Tyson Augustine on the quick slant, and that'll be 25 yards on the pitch and catch. And Lamars, they'll open up a 7-0 lead. After a West High punt, Dogs with the ball again. Sitzman goes out to the flat to Andrew Grant. Grant turns up the sideline. He'll shed a tackle. Grant. Finally taken out of bounds at the two-yard line, but on the very next play, Jude Doherty takes the plunge into the end zone. That makes it 14-0. Keep things going here. Lamar's with it once again. Sitzman on the design quarterback run. He cuts to the outside, and Sitzman goes in untouched. Three drives, three touchdowns for the Dogs in the first quarter. They win 48-16. Up north, it's the battle for Highway 9. Eshville Lincoln Central and third rank Spirit Lake going at it. It's homecoming for the Indians. We'll pick up. They lead 21 to nothing, but the score wouldn't stay there for long. Caden Lutt finds Ethan Stecker. They make it look easy to increase the lead. Midgets looking downfield here, trying to gain some momentum, but Will Ditsworth wants in on the action. He snags the interception. Ditsworth dances his way through ELC for another Spirit Lake touchdown. Clock running, 21 seconds left in the half. Indians say, why not? They throw one up, and boy, are they sure glad they did. Lunt to Stecker for a Spirit Lake hey, touchdown. Run. Indians, they run away with a win, 49-7. Just down the road in Okaboji, the Pioneers hosting Garner Hayfield Ventura. Also homecoming for the Pioneers, who lead 20 to 12, heading into the fourth. Land Duvall finds Avery Simington on a 17-yard completion. And now they're at the 20. Later in the drive, Pioneers, they'll finish exactly what they started. Quarterback keep by Duvall here. He finds the end zone, and they're leading 27 to 12. But the Pioneers, they're not done yet. Duvall. 
He'll take another snap, look downfield, and he'll find Asa Jacobson for the last touchdown of the night as the Pioneers take the win in this one, 34 to 12. An absolute slobber knocker of a game in London, folks. Eagles trail Ridgeview by six with time running out. Raptors trying to run the clock out, but Lane Mitchell will burst through the line, put a stop to that one to force turn long. However, on that down, Ridgeview tries for a little end around here with Carson Harriman, and the senior will break a tackle. He'll end up moving the chains with his effort. Time's starting to run out for Lawton Bronson, but on third and goal, it's a flock of Eagles who come in to make a stop. Lawton Bronson gets the ball back. Back, but they need a miracle. Fourth down here, their throw incomplete. Good pass defense from Blake Murtu as the Raptors. They win a barn burner, six nothing. We're in the WC student section and Sports 4 Extra will be right back. Yeah!